about that, about that. Each level with a raised larynx, right? But then she is able to bring in her brado. How about that pianist, too? This is called making music, my goodness. This raised larynx thing that she's doing. What do I do? Makes it speech-like, makes it a little bit more uh, important. The words are a little bit more emphasized here. When I don't know what to do man this is why i think gospel is the purest form of singing you see that the folks in the back they're like they're nodding their head they're with it this is a sermon this isn't a performance and you can tell that just by how much these it's it, she's it's, she's like speaking it plain the conviction is there she doesn't need to put anything on it's brilliant Where do I turn? to those questions that seem yeah. to have no answer oh yeah something i wish more singers would do this is something that i love this is just just plain and simple she's messing with the vowels and we change our vocal track we change the sound right that's my vocal track changing so when we just use different vowels, we can play with the same sound. And she's also doing some other stuff too that to, to manipulate the vocal track so that she can get these like, right? Like all of these different colors so that she can paint the words. And it's just, it adds so much to the performance and so much to what the preaching is about. Lord, right? I don't know what to say. Where do I go? Ooh. What do I answer? What do yeah. I answer? Just like that's just such big contrast that's so, like the ah, that like brassy timbre and then she just it's it's she's this is she is using these uh, uh, uh tonal adjustments to preach to get to the text and it's just it's so smart it's done without any reservations which means it's just it just adds to this compelling. You get, I don't, it, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yes.
breath control for days. Here's what she did. I... Listen to the difference there, right? We got that versus... Big difference. So what we're looking at here is a spectrogram, okay? On the vertical axis, we have frequencies, and on the uh, x axis, we have time. So it's frequencies over time, and then the, the intensity of the color demonstrates how bright that frequency is. First bit of this, we have uh, uh, a contraction of what's called the epiglottic sphincter, more commonly known as twang, when you, ah, right? Like that, that sound that she's getting that she does so much better than me. Um, she does that, and then she goes to this woofy, where the folds are not even fully adducted. She is bringing her tongue back, stiffening it a little bit, and then singing so gently that the folds don't even come together. Something called the Bernoulli effect. <clears throat> this is how a lot of singing works. Do this. It's not me putting them together. As I push air or, or uh, expel air from the center, the pressure on the outside of the papers is larger than that of the inside, and so the papers come together. This is how you bring the vocal, one of the ways that brings the vocal folds together. What she's doing is she's controlling her breath so finely as to maintain this kind of woofy, darker sound in contrast to that twanginess, but she's doing it with such brilliant breath control Listen to how long she holds this, and it's just a non-issue. And the way that she just brings in that vibrato and, and can, can manage that, that makes it extra tricky. Makes it extra tricky. What you see to my, my left here, this is the thyroid cartilage, okay? It's the Adam's apple. So there's this really large piece of, of cartilage right here called the thyroid cartilage. There's a view of it from the back. That huge piece of cartilage, you can see these little, these two little two little like long pieces of, of flesh right here. Those are the vocal folds. When you tilt the thyroid cartilage, the vocal folds stretch out so you get more power and uh, also it gets a deeper sound. Uh, th then vibrato kicks in because these are not necessarily, uh, the, the muscles are not necessarily stable. The reason why this is significant, listen to how she is from here, twang. Bring the tongue back a little bit, make it a little woofy. Uh, not a lot of vocal fold adduction on purpose, all of it on purpose. Complete straight tone, no vibrato. There's air leaking through it because the vocal folds are not fully adducted. Almost, she knows she's running out of breath. She is about to go flat. She tilts the thyroid cartilage, brings it back. Now we get almost a straight up classical sound. And tilts the thyroid cartilage, lifts up the larynx to get this sound, and then beautifully just gradually tilts that thyroid cartilage. It's clear to me. Oh, let's gush more about this woman's use of air. Twang, it sounds like it's it's forceful, but it's really, really delicate. 
There are muscles at the uh, that parallel the uh, thyroid cartilage over here with the larynx, and those are called the areopiglottic muscles. When those contract, you get twang. Now, here's the trick, though. You cannot use a lot of breath when you do that. Twang hates breath. So she's using this. She's, she's using that she's very little breath to get these very delicate sounds. She doesn't need to change her breathing, even though it sounds radically different. She doesn't need to change anything. Very smart. Oh! Changing up the way she uses the soft palate. Right? High to low. And it's painting. She's painting. What can't she do? What can't she do? Literally, we got straight classical over here. It, oh my God. First of all, hold on. Let's talk about it. Just how beautiful is that sound? Oh, I would pay money to go to an opera house and hear that sound. That is beautiful. Yes. Right there, we have a raised larynx, we have twang, we have the thyroid cartilage tilt, we have a brighter vowel, and we have such gentle air. This, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, all of this coordination is so incredible. Ooh. Ooh. All this thing she's done is eh, eh, where she's change she's she's doing a glottal. It's where if you hold your breath real quick, uh, uh, and then you go to make sound, you'll hear that that's that there's a little attack. Well, she's using that on purpose to give structure to the musical phrase. That. Right? Makes the runs. Those, those, like, it's so, you know, listen, fast notes are not hard. But that that's mush. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't say anything. If you want to do it uh, with any sort of meaning, you have to add some sort of attack to some of the notes so that there's structure. There's several ways to do that. That's how she does it. And then she also goes and phrases it using different vowels to give the phrase an arc. It's so smart.
quick, she can drop that twang or add it. Oh my god. It's got to be it's it's almost like she's like she's just slightly restraining herself to from going like full blown cuz she's not there yet, right? We're not we're not at that golden 2 third mark, not yet. We're close, but we're not there yet. So she's reserving some of that sound for the climax. But this is so interesting. In what world would a teacher or 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 someone who's purist about technique discern that it was a, it would be ever a good idea to go, oh, right? She's bringing her lips in. Oh! And the tone change is, it just, it's a slight variation of what we've been seeing in the performance so far. Super, super creative. Oh! Yes! Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love this. She she just walks off. She like, I right but I'll be right back. Don't you worry about that. why i think gospel is so incredible is because she's just saying it 
It's not about her. It's not about her voice. She's she's preaching. She's talking about it. And it's real. And so when she does all these crazy things, it's to serve the message, not the ego. And so when you get crazy, beautiful decrescendo. I'm gonna stand right here until you makes the statement, has the words. Oh! Oh my God, the level of control is so good. Big, big, big shout out for the patron who made this possible and uh, where I don't have to cut it up and do a bunch of weird stuff. So thank you. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a patron, uh, you can go to the link down below. I will review any video you submit within a certain time frame. So each different patron tier it's a different time frame you can submit your own singing you can submit whatever singing right five dollars gets you 60 seconds and it just kind of goes up from there so if you like this sort of thing you want to support the channel uh and and uh you want to request very specific things that's how to go about that and i'd appreciate that controlling your voice with that much twang controlling and commanding the, the dynamic level the volume <sighs> Like to seamlessly go between, it's just, it's hard. It's very difficult. And she does it like it's nothing.